Hello everyone, my name is Lenny from Code with Lenny Len and in this sixth Python SQLite tutorial I'm going to show you how we can actually update a record. So in the previous tutorial I told you how we can uh, read data from a database and now that was cool, now it's time to update. Maybe you have, uh, say, you want to change Cynthia, instead of being a manager you want to put her to electronics. So how the heck do you do that in uh, SQLite? So in SQLite it's so simple. I'm just going to show you that right now. How we can change uh, specific fields for a specific person. And the thing to keep in mind here is the ID. Remember I told you the ID is the primary key and as the primary key it's unique so it's not, re it's not repeated. And it's still the one that's going to be used to reference all these guys. So you cannot use the stars because there are two people with the same stars or something. But you can have your records with many names of the same uh, the same name for many people, but you cannot have the same IDs. So keep in mind throughout this tutorial and the next, the primary key or the ID in our case is going to be very important. So let's get started. For us to do this, we're just going to create a new function and it's going to be here and we can say define what update underscore record so define update record and now what we do is just create an execution so dbase execute multi-line comment uh, it's not a must to use my style you can use your style but because maybe you are looking for help and you're a beginner i just ask you to stick to my idea then you can go on modifying your plans in the future and for us to execute this we just say update so all caps update and what are we updating our table so our table name was employee records whoops another chopper just passed the by i hope you're not minding about the background noise it's so irritating so update employee records we are updating a table then from that table what do you want to update so we set and maybe i want to change the division so I'll just say set division equal to and because it was a string I'm just going to pass on a string so electronics don't worry I'm going to explain this line just now so set division equal to electronics then you tell SQLite where do you want me to apply this um, uh, update where do you want me to set this division to electronics so where ID and that's why I told you the ID is very important in our case because it's going to help us reference these guys so id cynthia was id2 and i'm going to use that right now so where id equals 2 then we are not done you remember i told you in the last or the previous tutorials whenever you are changing the structure of a table whether it's inserting a record updating a record or deleting a record by the way i'm going to show you how to delete a record in the next tutorial but for now Remember, when you're doing any uh, structural change to your database or to your table, you need to apply those changes. And we apply them by saying dbase.commit. So if you have been using GitHub or so like programs, you know what commit means. And for now, all you should know that this line, that commit, it just applies the changes made. So right now, we're just going to try to update the record put down there and we're going to read data again once you have uh, updated our record then here you can just say print updated just for neat work before we can read this data maybe we can just say print and put a dash so that we can be able to visually see uh, the update so let's run and uh, after running I have mine run pretty fast so I'm just going to come up here and the database was open right ID, you have the IDs and everything all that kind of stuff and now everything is still arranged according to the name so in the last tutorial I showed you how you can order everything by the alphabetical order of the names or something you can still order by division ID stars it really depends on the issue or the issue that you have then so Right now we have ID2, this is the one that I'm interested in. So electronics, in fact it has already applied, that's quite neat. 
when we come here id2 is electronic so we can just try to change that so that we can be we can see whether it will apply it we might have missed that one so set division equal to maybe hardware and when we run this time everything has run quite well and we shall go back up so id2 at the start of the database was electronics so since was in the division of electronics but after the update here so we have the line we have the hardware and this has worked quite perfectly now for you maybe to understand this we can try to change another thing so that you can see it's just the division that's changing you can change the stars whoops stars and for now you can see cynthia cynthia has five stars maybe we can turn that down to three set stars equal to three this is just an integer so we're going to pass in an integer where id is two save and run okay so it was run again so let's go up here so id everything hardware cynthia has five stars then after applying the update you see we have the updated so now we have the new the just the dash for us to see the new workspace that we have here and now the stars that we follow on cynthia are three so this just shows you how we can update records just a simple tutorial but let me go over this one more time so every time you want to execute an sqlite command you just say dbase.execute then you issue their command and the first line the first word in the command actually tells it what to do whether it was insert select update delete so all this stuff i'm going to show you delete in the next tutorial but for now update employee records you just want to update a table it's just like chain change or modify this table and in this table i want to modify or to set in which field the stars or the division or the name or the id you can do pretty much anything here you set whatever you want to set equal to the new data that or the new data type or the new value that you want to put here and you now tell it where where do you want me to apply this update to i know it's from the employee records but to whom whom am i going to apply this i cannot just set stars to three equal to uh, i cannot just set stars equal to three for everyone in the table and that's just done by where so you just tell it where id equal to two and the id is very important in our case it's a primary key and i told you in the last tutorial primary key is unique and should never be repeated is that that's used to reference our uh, records and that has shown you a quite perfect example of how we did that and we set this id equal and where the id is two we applied this update in the employee records table so if you had quite many tables you can still use this command but maybe change the table name my oh my there's just quite a lot of activity in the air today so you can just change all this stuff according to the new tables that you have maybe you have many more employees maybe you have the record id is 20 or something this is just a simple story to show you how we can do everything and now that we are done with updating our records in the next tutorial i'm going to show you how we now can delete records so stay tuned for the next tutorial please like and subscribe to this video if you have any question comments or suggestions for which other tutorials i should put out leave them in the comments below and be sure to check it out and as always thanks for watching